Welcome to Good Mythical More. Today we're gonna solve the age old debate, one bite or two? Hmm, that, uh, yeah, that is an age old debate. But first, let's give $1,000 to save the children to aid in their mission to ensure their three global goals are met. No child should die from preventable causes. Mm -hmm. All children should have access to a quality basic education and no child should be a victim of violence. Please join us in giving to the great work that's being done at Save the Children at savethechildren.org slash donate. Savethechildren.org slash donate. So, um, I'm told that many members of the Mythical Crew have been surveyed about the things that we are going to taste today. I guess starting with these uh, tater tots. You have been told correctly. To decide if these are one bite or two. Well, yeah, this originated from when Gwyneth was on from Sporked and you guys were tasting um, tater tots. And I believe Gwyneth was like, oh, I take two bites out of my tater tot. And I think she started it, a, a web wide controversy. Yeah, I mean, at least web. back here, we were like, that's interesting. So, Might be Gwyneth tater tots, yeah. one or two bite food. Can it be our year and Gwyneth's year? I mean, no. It's, um, I can see why you would do that. Of course, you, you what, I'm just curious over the course of this entire conversation, are you ever going to say anything is more than one bite? I think potentially. Interestingly, I have a small mouth, but yet I still eat things in large bites. My, this little mouth does a lot of work. So if you eat one of those, you're just gonna pop I'm, just, it in. I'm gonna do just instinct what I would do. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, you did. You did. And my question I, is why would you ever do anything different? Well, if you're Gwyneth, there's like a gnat in there. I mean, it's not a French fry. I don't I'm I don't eat a French fry in one bite, because it's long, but this is like my mouth is big enough, my hand is big enough. I'm not gaining anything. Now Yes, if I was like a disciplined eater who knew when to stop or wanted to like make myself eat more slowly, you can make an argument that everything is a two bite or more. When I look the, at this. The inventor of a tater tot, Mr. Tot himself. Yeah. Was probably. Tate Tot. Tate Tot was like. Tate R. Tot. You do this in one bite. It's a tot. Yeah. You pop yeah, the tot. Yeah, I don't, I don't know why Gwen had, you would do this. I mean, I think there's arguments. We're gonna hear one. Did I do um, one? From I from I someone who was on the side of the two bite. But yes, forty members of the mythical crew are on the one bite side. Four are on the two bite side. One of those members is Aubrey. Oh. What, what's your reasoning here, Aubrey? You're joining Gwyneth on the dark side. Yes, absolutely. And it's not a problem that it doesn't fit in there because I got the cheeks to hold, you know, as many tater tots as possible. All right, let's see how many. But it you can chipmunk it? <laughs> what? You can uh, chipmunk it. Yeah, I can chipmunk it. Uh, but I, it's more of like an homage to the tater tot because like me, like you, Link, like you, Rhett, what's on the outside is not as important as what's on the inside. What do you mean by that? Oh, so oh, if you take well, a bite of the tater tot. Why did you point me out when you said that? <laughs> How did I get roped into that? <laughs> Didn't your mom teach you that what's on the inside is important? Well, no. She, she said you're the she's... best looking boy at school. <laughs> okay, she, well in addition She to was that. lying. <laughs> she did say that, because he would come to school and tell me. Yeah, I'd be like, hey, my mom said I'm the best looking boy. And I believed it, because my mom didn't tell me that. She told me I was the best looking on the inside. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait, wait, wait. Brett, your mom told you you were the best no, looking boy? She say, she, no, she wouldn't say that. She would be like, she, my mom was very complimentary. She'd be like, you're so athletic and you're so smart and you're so good looking. She wouldn't say you're the best, good, best looking. You see but, the problem she caused? But she was like, yeah, I mean, she gave me a lot of confidence. I went on to accomplish many things. <laughs> I'm, still, I'm still riding that wave. Still riding that way. Thank you, Mom. <laughs> okay, so Aubrey, you're saying you like to I'm look at the interior? The yeah, because it has like like um, square potatoes in it. So I kind of like to give homage to the tater tot. So I take a bite of it. I like, you know. And look at I it. I eat a little. I eat a couple of the squares so you look by at the themselves. Inside. Yeah, but then you got to eat a couple of those little squares in there. Oh. Alone. Oh. Yeah. So you're, in other words, you're going back to like the hash brown experience. Yeah, a little bit. And then it's. Then, then I finish the rest. I gotta say, Aubrey, I'm not persuaded. Those okay. are little. That's all right. They're little tater cubes inside. That's ex yes. Huh. All right. You're wrong, <laughs> and I was wrong. Well, okay. It's here's a two here's my no, argument it's a, it's a for a uh, for a two biter. It feels like there's more. Well, that's true of everything. 
Well, yeah, but I'm saying like if you're sitting down and you're having a snacking experience you. and you can have multiple bites of something versus like larger you're bites. You're not going to get through to him. You're right, but you're not going to get Here, through But to here's him. the thing. There are some things you can eat and it's still there. But you, you, you take a whole drink of something there. and the way you, you're like, <laughs> it just what do you all mean? goes down. There, what do you mean by there's some things you can eat? <coughs> oh, this is a throwback? Uh, Here we go. Don't be stupid. We're talking about tater tots. Marshmallows. No, we're talking about marshmallows now. Um, excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse, excuse is that me. A pool, is this a pool term? Excuse me of something. <laughs> I still have a, I have part of a tater tot here, and if I don't try to cough it yeah, up yeah. and I, out, I'm going to choke I could probably slowly. get it out with my finger. <laughs> Is it from taking two bites? <laughs> yeah, right. If you had just eaten that tater tot all together, it, it. it would have never <laughs> the happened. The gnat got in your throat. Because <laughs> <laughs> I tried to drink stuff to get it to go down, but it was already past the... Oh, uh, you can't... The drink won't touch that part. Right. It was already past the drink. Now it's got to go into the lung and be asphyxiated. No, I, I think I brought it up out of the lung. <laughs> and now I'm going to send it down the eat pipe. Yeah, yeah. Out one way. Out the breathe pipe, down the eat pipe. It's like when you go the wrong way on a one-way street. Now, I don't I don't eat these alone. You always eat them in groups. I always eat them with, <laughs> with the chocolate and the graham cracker. I have been known to eat these alone, both in both senses of the word. But I will say that this is how I'm gonna do it instinctively. Oh, you bit it in half. Yeah, because there's something really satisfying about biting a marshmallow in half that you don't oh. get when you eat the whole thing. Huh. And it's very springy. And you get it again. When I you think, get it again. I think marshmallows, unless it's the minis, of course, Two bite food in my book. But if you put that whole thing in your mouth, don't you get the same satisfaction? I mean, I can definitely do it. I mean, I'm not gonna do it. Not as satisfying? Not as satisfying. Well, of course I'm a two bite guy, but I'm actually a zero bite guy for this thing. My life is not made any better by these. These Is it because there's like horse hoof in them? That's what it is, yeah. Okay, so more people were compelled to vote for marshmallows and Forty people thought two bites, and ten thought one bite. So, okay. yeah, most people thought two bites. Do we have any one biters present? Interesting. I don't believe no. so. We I mean, I listen. Them. I agree with you in spirit. And here we go, Totino's pizza rolls. Heat has to be a factor here. Now these have been cooled down. You want to grab Are they one? Room temperature. So. Huh. You got to assume that these that they're normally hotter than what we're doing here, you know. It's I, so I'm I'm assuming that they're piping hot, and I you just have to bite it in half slowly. Like now, see that's not a factor for me. Uh, I'm not scared of hot foods uh, like that because I have been burned by hot foods, but usually it's kind of like okay that'll heal quickly. But when you uh, bite it in half, doesn't stuff normally ooze out of it? Yeah, I do think I think that's a fine argument, but I actually think there's an additional reason why this is a two bite food. And I think it's because it's a rectangle and not a square. I think again, I think the manufacturer is like, let's not make squares. Oh really? Let's make it in a rectangle so you can hold it. But a tater tot is a is a cylinder, which is rectangular in it's kind smaller, of idea. Though. It's smaller. So we're both two biter on this one. Okay, yeah. So the majority of the crew <laughs> was a two better. I must say the reenactment link was on point for if it was hot. Well, I gotta was, tell you, it was pretty what good. I did was not accurate. Oh, really? Why? Yeah. You yeah. take even more time? You wanna you try it again? Yeah. It, okay. I mean, it's more like. Yeah. You eat hot foods like you're, test, you're tasting something for the king. <laughs> it falls out. That's what normally happens. Cause I'm like, I put it in there, I'm like, and it just, you know, and then I blow on it and then I eat it. I do eat it. Uh, I do so eat it. what was the verdict on this one? So it's 35 people, two bite, to 11 people, one bite. But we did have a, a, a rogue three-biter. 
And that rogue three biter was cagey. Yes. And oh, KG. I don't how even do you, know. How would you even yeah. three bite this? So I bite the corners off. Doesn't matter if it's the top or the bottom. But the thing is, I have like 10 on a plate. So I'll do the first one and do it to every single one. Oh, You'll so bite like that? It. So by the time I get back to the first one, it's cooled down, and then I take a bite. She's letting the heat out of the yeah. corners. Yeah, but then it's also fun because I'm a child, so you can blow into the corners, and they kind of inflate like a balloon. Oh, so w w do I eat this corner second or this corner? Um, it's the top, like short. Just one please, corner please on each. Yeah. Like one, two, put one, it two. down, go through the rest of them, and hit the corners, and then that was like a, that. I do little tiny. Little oh. Ones. Wait, you were it's you're small. a two corner full bite, or you're a like that two, single corner. That's two bites two, right there. You release corners. the heat, then you come back and you pop the whole thing. Yeah. So there's two holes. Yeah, this is sound. Huh? Why don't you do one corner, two bites? Wait, what? One, one corner, corner two, two bites. bites. Yeah, just release oh, one corner. Because because just the two bites lets more steam come out. It lets twice the steam yeah. out. Yeah. And Vent, maybe the heat venting. comes out here and the cool goes in here. So yeah, you got to create a vent. It's a circulation Yeah, by thing. the time you get to the, bite the rest of them, it gets back to the first one, it's cooled down. You can just pop it in your mouth. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep. Yeah, yeah. Well, you know what? All these are cool if you want some of them. Yeah, yeah. He got those ready. He got those ready for you. <laughs> um, <laughs> what are we going with next? Is this cheese and crackers? Together or cheese yeah. and then crackers? Okay. okay. Cheese and crackers together. Boy, this is a great thing. So I just, I would just do this. I wouldn't put another cracker. Oh, yeah, definitely. All right. I got, I do this on a, well, not as much as I used to. But in my younger days, obviously, I made a cheese disc and I, I love doing this just late at night and sometimes on the weekend if we've got Ritz crackers because Jesse will get them for Shepard. And if you've been a good boy. And if I've been a good boy all week, I can be a bad boy on Saturday night. Okay. Nobody's I, watching. I'm going to do what I would do if I did this, which I don't ever. Okay. There's a there's a compelling reason to do it the way that I'm going to do it, but I'll see if you can figure it out. Okay. Okay. Well, I wasn't expecting that. <laughs> uh, I, the only thing I agree with is the fact that you, uh, you ate it in one bite. And the reason that this is, but you flipped it. Did you see the flip? I don't believe in flipping cheese down. cheese down because I want, I actually want this down because I want to begin to moisten the cracker. Let's see. What do you mean begin to moisten Why the cracker? Why are you acting like that was like, you just took the thing, you put it in your mouth. Is something about to happen next? Yeah, an explanation of why I do that. <laughs> Let's hear it. You can't be biting a cracker and cheese halfway. I mean. No. You're creating all kinds of mess. It crumbles too much. Okay, but, but I why did you go like this? I completely agree with you, and I think Link's technique is advanced because the cheese is is you want you want to taste the cheese. But the crazy thing is, thirty nine mythical crew members thought two bites. Well, they didn't have them in front of them, and ten thought one bite. No, y'all, they didn't have them in front of them. Let's just demonstrate. Just, yeah. I mean, just watch. You you come in here and you think this is gonna work. Do it right now. Don't do it for comedy. Do it for like. Oh, oh, see, look, look, look at that. <laughs> Who's gonna eat that? The dog? Yes. I'm not eating it off the ground. Um, so the dogs love it when you do it wrongly. That's what you guys have done. Yeah. That goes with this, and that is a one biter. We agree on that. Now this right here. Okay. Reese's miniature cups. Ooh, miniature this, cups specifically. This is tough. not the regulars. Nope. Now I know what I do here. I bite it in half. Okay. Well, give us your reason. Ooh, these are bad. Because they pack such a flavorful power. I can't take a whole one. <laughs> it's too much. You can't take a whole one. Yeah, it's too much, man. Like if you oh, put, God. sorry. Watch out! Watch I'm, out, pizza, pizza! I'm having trouble. Your pizza I got elbow. This pizza suit on. I mean, definitely with it's a with a big suit. Reese cup. I nibble around the whole edge because something about the ed, the the edge of it it's real strong. It's like structurally strong, and it's like nice to kind of peel that off. And then you got this disc in the middle, and I bite that in half. Still, well, this is why I disagree with the you. other half. Why make this? Uh, it's a little powdery. Why even have this as a product? Yeah. If you're not supposed to eat it in one bite. I don't eat the regular ones in one bite. I, I mean, think, sometimes maybe on Halloween, if I got a lot to get through. It's savor, it's savor time, man. 
I think it's just eat another one. Tom. I'm pro I'm probably in the minority here, right? I'll reveal that in a moment. Oh, Mythicon. Of course, if you can't make it, we want to share with you a special part of it. So our live show that we've developed, our stage show, it's, it's going to be unlike anything we've ever done, anything you've ever seen. And you know what? Not everybody can be there, so we want to give you the option of seeing it yourself from the comfort of your home. So on Saturday, October 29th, you can stream it exclusively on Kizwe. Tickets are on sale at mythicontickets.com, so get them so you can be a part of what we're doing at Mythicon, even if you can't be there physically. Be at our show virtually, mythicontickets.com. All right. Okay, so you're I think right. Everybody's you were you were in the minority. Uh, 38 crew members are in one bite and 14 in two bites. I I agree with you though, but I think it's back to my savoring. It's my savoring argument. Of I guess like, I I, I, th know? I think the point right. with that is that can be applied and maybe should be applied to all foods, right? But I'm just kind of going on like yeah. the American way here. Like they ma they made them they made them to be eaten in this way. You're supposed to eat too much. You're supposed to get full before you realize that you're full. This isn't none of this is healthy. But I'm just saying the manufacturers made this stuff so you'd pop it in in one bite, whether it's right or wrong. The American ultimately. way. <clears throat> now this one here. How is this a question? Well, okay, Peanut I'm, I'm going to go out on a limb and I'm going to make the argument that I think some of you two biters are going to make on this because it can be relatively fun to do this, and then you get a little peanut. Oh, I bet half of the peanut. And you have to go easy. You, got, you can't be an aggressive biter. Look, there's a hole in the middle of my peanut. And then you go like this. You pull this out. Oh. Just a peanut clean. What? Second bite. What? And then you got this. Second bite. Third bite. One, two, three. I'll do that sometimes, but I'm just doing it for fun. I thought you would, I mean, how many do you normally eat in one bite? Because it's probably more than one. So. I actually have. I will only eat one. I, well, thanks for letting me answer. No, I just said <laughs> my answer is easy, so I'm just gonna say I only eat one. So, I regularly eat these because this is Shepard's movie theater snack of choice. Okay. And I go to the movies with Shepard all the time, and he's always like, "Dad, why don't we get that AMC Fast Pass so we can get in the Gold Line?" And I'm like, "Not a sponsor, man. I keep forgetting about it. I'm thinking about it right now, and I never do it." Do you remember when M&M's was a sponsor? Because one of the things we were not allowed to do was to consume Multiple. more than one M&M at a time. Hands full, yeah. Well, because I'm at a movie, and because they're shepherds, and because I'm trying to not eat too many, at the movie, I do one at a time, and I do them like this. Put them in, and I suck on it. You try to, you always, so now you go into saver mode. How many sucks? <laughs> It depends on the genre of movie I'm watching. <laughs> With Shepard. Mm -hmm. But in a normal occasion, like if you had these here, and they it was they were all going to be eaten by you, so you didn't have to worry about touching them, how many would you grab and eat at once? Just still in one? I think you would eat three to four. First of all, what I just did, approximately 20 seconds of sucking, and the candy shell begins to collapse, and then you bite it, that's an unparalleled experience. That's much better than the three-step thing I did. So I'm a one-bite man on this. But to answer your question about how many I would put in my mouth, I go one at a time, and then I start getting a little impatient, and then I'll go two, and then I'll go three, but I never do more than three. You never got a box pour? Maybe at the very end. <clears throat> so what, I mean, okay, so yeah, most people said one people, bite. A lot of people wanted to vote for this one. 43 went for one bite. Six for two bites, and you better believe one of those two biters was Gwyned. Are yes. you actually a three biter? No, I'm a two biter. Okay. Yeah, okay. I loved what you did. You like my demonstration? Eating oh. the, You're welcome. But it's the right idea, and like, yes, you are bisecting it with your teeth, but doing it gently, so just the hat comes off. And then you have chocolate and shell. That experience by itself is an M&M. &M. So you're having first bite and you're just having an M&M. &M. This that's is a like, solid argument. That's huh. fun. I have a hat and in my mouth. the second part, 
you have, I think, the perfect ratio of peanut chocolate shell. Whoa. So that second bite is perfect peanut M&M. I perfected the peanut M&M for M&M. And I'm not even like asking for anything. I just want people to hear me out. Well, well that's asking for you, stuff. You've, oh, you, you've been okay. hurt. Right. And you know what? Right. I, I don't disagree kind of being with you. Forward <laughs> with it. But they're not better than the, peanut, being bu- hurt. the peanut butter M&M. I'm sorry. And, and the red pack. And finally, of course, we've got a strawberry. Okay. Well, hold on. Now, I don't want to. Now, something has been done to these strawberries that ruins my particular approach. The green it. thing is gone. Well, so what I like to do, and again, I started doing this probably five years ago, is you grab the greenie and you just bite the whole thing. So you eat the stem with it. But you, you don't, don't eat, eat the leaves. leaves. But you eat the stem. I Yeah, I've started doing that. Because this whole biting a strawberry and leaving the top part and if, then throwing it away. If it's ripe all the way. It's, if you put it all in your mouth, it's, there's nothing to it. So I think strawberries are definitely a one bite food, unless it's a giant one that's got some sort of like yeah, and those disease. Are, those are weird. Ba one, 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 one. Ba. I don't know why I started saying ba. <laughs> ba one. Um, surprisingly, the mythical crew feels by a large margin that they are two bite foods. I think most people. I think it is. It, I, again, this has been a, a recent shift as I've matured. I didn't always do this, you know. I am older than all of you, <laughs> I think. Um, and you will l- soon learn that this is the superior way. It's just going to take you a while to get there. And then when you get there, you'll be like, oh, you know what? Because it makes a per- it's like nature's handle, right? And then you just toss, you just throw that away. And in fact, if you plant right. the little leaves in your yard, it'll grow a new strawberry tree. Get your ticket to see us perform live at mythicontickets.com.